Hi everyone. If anybody came to me today and asked me what is the most important thing that you learned when you went back for your masters at Kenyatta University, I would not hesitate to tell him or her that the only thing that I learned Okay, the only thing is wrong. The most important thing that I learned when I went back for my master's in chemistry is the temperature differences between a metallic seat and a wooden seat. It's a cold Monday morning and our lecturer, one Dr. Kibe, realizes that most of us are not willing or rather are uncomfortable sitting on the metallic seats because those seats are so cold early in the morning. And that is when he decides to educate us on the differences between the wooden seats and the metallic seats. And it's the same thing that I carried to my students, my Form 3 physics students, and I decided to ask them the same question. Which one between the metallic seat and the wooden seat is colder than the other one? Before we have the correct answer, I'd like you to also have an input in the same and answer this question. Which one is colder between the metallic seat and the wooden seat? Is it A, the metallic seat, B, the wooden seat, or C, they have the same temperature. To get the correct answer, we used this gadget known as a thermogun, a gadget that I banned its use in this country in the fight against Corona. It is a pity that I still see it being used, especially in the banking halls and in the churches. I mean, it is one of the most useless mundane activities going on in this country. Anyway, I already made my case then. I will not belabor on that point in this video. I hope by now you have already written your answer in the comment section below. And as expected, a majority of my students predicted that the metallic seat was colder than the wooden seat with only five of my students predicting that the wooden seat was colder than the metallic seat. I called upon one of my students known as a doom to come and measure the temperature of the two seats. I didn't want to do it myself because they could easily accuse me of rigging the results and these were the results. The wooden seat recorded a temperature of 23.5 degrees Celsius, while the metallic seat recorded a temperature of 23.3 degrees Celsius, a small difference of about 0.2 degrees Celsius, but literally the same temperature of 23 degrees Celsius. And therefore, the correct answer for this question is answer number C, the temperature is the same. But how comes when you sit on a metallic seat, the seat feels colder? The explanation behind that is about thermal conductivity, the rate at which Heat is transferred from one object to another. When you sit on a seat, your support documents are not measuring the temperature of the seat because there is only one gadget that can be used to measure the temperature of a body and that is a thermometer and your support documents are not a thermometer. What is happening is that the metal is a better conductor of heat than the wood and therefore it is drawing heat from your body at a faster rate than the wood is drawing heat from your body. In other words, you are losing heat at a faster rate when seated on a metallic seat than you would lose when you are seated on a wooden seat. This was a chemistry lecturer giving us this kind of information and I believe that as a physics graduate this is unconstitutional for me because how comes I didn't know this kind of little information? But anyway, there is no end to learning and learning is a continuous process. What if we flip the question the other way around and asked ourselves, what exactly would happen if ice was placed on a metallic plate and on wood? Which one would melt faster? Is it Roman 1, the metallic plate, Roman 2, the wood, or Roman 3, they would melt at the same rate? I did this experiment and you can have your answer just in your mind, don't write it down and see exactly if you're right or wrong. When I did this, the ice on the metallic plate took exactly 13 minutes and 53 seconds to melt, whereas the ice on the wood took exactly 1 hour, 46 minutes and 44 seconds to melt. The question that then arises is, why would ice take a shorter time to melt on a surface that feels colder and take about 7.5 times longer to melt on a surface that feels warmer? The, the answer to that question is again about thermal conductivity, the rate at which heat is transferred from one object to another one. In this case, the ice is colder when compared to the surfaces of the metal and the wood. And therefore, unlike in the case when somebody was sitting on a seat and heat was being transferred from their bodies towards the seat because their body temperature was higher when compared to that of the seat, in this case, heat is being transferred from the metallic plate or the wood towards the ice because the ice is at a lower temperature relative to that of the metal or the wood. And again, because the metal is a better conductor than the wood, it is able to transfer heat at a faster rate towards the ice and therefore making the ice melt faster when placed on the metal than when it is placed on the wood. 
As of why the metal is a better conductor than the wood, I have left a link in the description box and you can watch that video. It will tell you exactly why. Thank you so much. I'm out.